Governor, your final Zoom question comes from Shannon Young of Politico. Shannon, your mic is open. Hi, Governor. Um, just wanted to know if you had had any conversations about adjusting visitation at nursing homes. I know the state recently said it was going to back federal guidelines that let pretty much anyone into a nursing home, whether they're vaccinated or not. Um, ha has there been any new discussions on whether to limit that or require vaccines or anything like that? Well, we have had discussions and, you know, we certainly were required to ensure that they, we comply with the federal dictate. I mean, this is these are federally funded institutions primarily, and we've had to follow their directive to allow any guests in. And that was in response to the realization that it ended up being a very harsh policy for family members, especially when someone is vaccinated and now that we have the boosters available. So we, we talked about this, but my laser focus is providing not just the vaccine, but the booster shots. So the vulnerable population who live within the nursing homes are safe when com someone comes and visits. Obviously everyone has to wear a mask when they're in there, but we're having those conversations. And again, flexibility uh, is key. I'm, I'm focusing on what's going on in those nursing homes. I hope we'll see in another week, a lot, many more people have had their booster shot and that'll give me a higher level of comfort knowing that they're safe. But just so I'm clear, is there anything that the state could do to um, say that they're not going to support those federal guidelines? Well, we talked about it, and we have a high number of individuals who, you know, everyone, 97% of people work in nursing homes and long care facilities are vaccinated themselves, and so we know the staff is protected. We know that many more members of the, and I'll get, I can get the numbers on how many people have been vaccinated and have the booster shot in nursing homes. So it's, it's a very different dynamic than we were experiencing last year or the year, you know, the year and a half ago when there was such a huge vulnerability when anybody walking in the door, whether it's someone who was a kitchen helper, or a delivery person could expose them. I mean, there weren't even mask requirements for a long time for it early on. So that has all changed, but we're gonna look at those numbers. We are not seeing high numbers of nursing home people entering hospitals right now. If that changes, we can turn on a dime.